Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus the Fourth. What I have here in my right hand to you guys' left is a bottle of Sprite from 1988. On the other hand, to you guys' right, is a modern day bottle of Sprite from 2023. The title of today's video is going to be what would happen if you drank a 1988 bottle of Sprite next to a fresh one? For those of you who are watching Maximus IV for the very first time, you should know that Sprite is currently the number one ranked lemon lime soda on the entire soft drinks chart. Sprite has made an incredibly powerful push, so much so that they have actually forced PepsiCo to discontinue their 23-year run of Sierra Mist in most regions of the country and possibly even other parts of the world. By the end of it, PepsiCo was producing 14.5 million a year off of Sierra Mist, while Coca-Cola's Sprite was producing $1 billion. So because of this, Coca-Cola discontinued Sierra Mist in most regions of the country and possibly the world, and it was replaced with Starry. Now how Starry is doing exactly at this very moment is unknown, <coughs> because it came out for the first time this year, around January. But other than that, those are some interesting stats that you guys might want to know about Sprite. And let's take a look at this bottle this 1988 bottle yeah it's 1988 coca-cola company and other than that little ding right there that's pretty much all you need to know so so that's all i'm gonna do just gonna open up this old bottle modern day bottle we're gonna see exactly what happens Kind of a cool bottle from 1988 of Sprite, if you ask me. Actually, the same year that Mountain Dew Red came out, which is ultra rare. Anyhow, let's give this a shot. I do have my trusty palate cleanse right here. <clears throat> so I wasn't going to do this in this video, but I did scan the ingredients on both the 88 bottle and 2023 of Sprite. And they look good. It looks like they both have the same ingredients. And the ingredients have not been changed at all whatsoever, from what I can see, uh, at all from 88 to 23 so let's see what we got here okay you can definitely you definitely definitely has that aged smell you can definitely smell that sugar that has turned and fermented not rotted just fermented i would say oh okay and you can see the discoloration that looks slightly yellow. <coughs> okay, let's open up this modern bottle. Ooh, ho ho. Wow, didn't expect that to happen. Okay, so, so far, from what we can see, the 1988 bottle of Sprite has a discoloration to it, and as you can clearly see, there's a little bit of a yellow tint, whereas the 2023 bottle of Sprite, it's got just that perfect white, or see-through color of liquid, so... 
let's go ahead and give these a taste test. I'll try the new one first because Okay, that is absolutely hitting like Sprite should. Tastes just like Sprite of normal. Very good. I would give that easy 7 out of 10, maybe an 8. Now we'll do palate cleanse here. Try the 1988 Sprite. <laughs> okay so the fizz for the most part is just about completely gone the sugar has turned I wouldn't say it's rotten because I don't think sugar really rots it's just more of a fermented taste <coughs> <coughs> But it still tastes good. It doesn't taste as quite as good as Sprite of 23, of course. Because it's not fresh. But it does have some sort of a special aged taste to it. Which sort of reminds me of the 7-Up bottle that I did from 1965. But because this bottle is 20 three years younger than that 7-Up bottle that I did. You can definitely taste a difference. It's not even close to as turned or fermented. So there we go. A modern day Sprite. Tastes just as normal as ever. In the 1988 Sprite, it just has much more of a, an aged turned and or fermented taste and that's it here i hope that this was a very fun educational and informative video and entertaining experiment of sprite from the 80s and then sprite from 2023 with that said i thank you guys for watching maximus the fourth year and i'm out see you next time